Yo, I'm back in the van. Today I'm going to be putting together the ladder for the back of the van, and I'm going to get up top and show some of the work that we did off camera. I put the brackets on that will clamp onto the top of the van door, and I just put the bolts in hand tight. So that way it has some wiggle room when you put it up there before you tighten everything down. And then I do the same thing with the ones that will hook up on the bottom of the door. The bottom hook slide in and that bolt is what tightens up the ladder onto the door. It pulls the bottom hooks up and tightens the whole thing up. Now that it's in place and sitting where it's supposed to, we'll tighten the brackets that hold the upper door hooks on. Now we'll do the same thing for the bottom and tighten up those brackets that hold the hooks on. This is where we'll tighten the bolts that'll pull the hooks up on the bottom to tighten the ladder onto the door. Where the lower hooks slide into the bracket, there's a clamp that also needs to be tightened down onto the bit where it slides in. Now that it's all in place, the brackets that hold the bottom hooks on also have to be tightened up. After I've used it for a bit, I'll go through and make sure every bolt is still tight.
not too shabby. Here I am up top on my back deck of my roof rack. You can see behind me here, I've got the uh, four solar panels. Four 195 watt solar panels. bought a kit that came with 695 watt solar panels, a 3500 watt inverter, and two 12 volt 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. I only had room for the four panels up top here. I watched a lot of videos on how people mount them, and most people were mounting them directly to the roof, which opens up a lot of possibility for leaks. You're drilling like 16 holes into the roof, and it can be hard to get those to seal nice. So my dad had the idea of putting the rack up here, and when I looked at racks, a lot of them were $1,000, $2,000. I found this uh, website, AmericanVans.com, and they had this one. It was somewhere around $450, $500. I ended up buying the heavy-duty mounting brackets, so it came up to like $600, $650 for the rack. I also got, with the roof rack, that air deflector up there which makes a big difference. That air deflector cut down on noise a lot. We got two pieces of angled aluminum that we mounted to the roof rack. They run all the way along to the front there and all the solar panels are mounted to that angled aluminum. So what we did, we built the whole roof rack on the ground. We mounted the angled aluminum on there. We uh, drilled all the holes in these boards, got them all set to where they were gonna go made sure all the panels fit and put them where they were supposed to go, drilled every hole, made sure everything would bolt up, and we took it all off, we brought the roof rack up, got the roof rack mounted, and then we just went through, passed, my dad passed the solar panels up to me, I'd put them up here into place, bolt them down, and we did the same thing with the boards. Now there were some issues with the roof rack. The poles weren't drilled, they were supposed to uh, have holes in it so you could just screw them in to the uh, side brackets, but none of the poles were drilled. We had to go through and drill every single pole. The, uh, the mounts I'll show you had to, we had to put one one way and the other the other way. We couldn't get them to line up to where the rack would fit in between them nice. I'll show that. See on the passenger side here, the brackets for mounting it are going this way. And here on the driver's side, the mounting brackets are going this way. I tried several different times trying to get them to line up right. This was the only way I could possibly make it work. And it came out good. It looks even on both sides. It doesn't look bad at all. But for the price, and I mean, it gets the job done. It's doing what I need it to do. So it is what it is. And I'm really happy with the way it came out with the, the deck back here and the panels. It all came out really nice. The solar panels were $2,000 for the whole kit. Solar panels, batteries, inverter. I ended up going with the $2,000 eco-worthy solar panel kit because I looked at a lot of different kits and it was hard to find answers on how much they could actually power. And with this kit, it'll tell you you can run a fridge, a microwave, an AC, a computer, a TV, basically everything you're gonna need. So I went with it so that way I wouldn't have to worry about any power issues. I can be pretty much sufficient, you know, self-sufficient with my solar panels and my batteries. The panels are all linked together underneath here and run down along the van, zip tied up to the roof rack and then at the end you have just the two wires that go down into the van. My setup here, instead of having all the holes drilled into it, I only have two just to run the wires down into the van. The two wires from the solar panels all linked together come down through the ceiling there and down through the wall where they hook up to the solar charge controller. Then I've got two batteries in this box here we built underneath the bed. 
and they hook up to the controller so this controls how much power is going into the batteries and then from there I have my inverter mounted underneath the bed here the inverter underneath the bed there and here I have a little heater which I'll come out here and run I've actually slept out here a few nights but I realized I will need more power so I'm gonna be getting I have actually two more batteries we're gonna be building another battery box and putting another two batteries there next to those ones as these solar panels are putting in on a nice sunny day so much power that these batteries are fully charged and I'm just wasting potential for energy so if I add in a couple more batteries I'm gonna be storing more power I'll be able to run a lot more and without wasting any of what it's producing as always thanks for watching and if you're enjoying be sure to like the videos and subscribe stay tuned for future van videos see how I turn this thing into a uh, camper also coming up in May end of May beginning of June I'm gonna be taking a trip out to Arizona so stay tuned to see the videos of that